It's just when the money good and the mother folk, they pay it off. Gibby told you about R. Kelly on Lil John now. And these R&B stars having sex with the kids. Need to be chopped up and castrated and served to the pig. They ain't yeah. care. Yeah. They ain't care. Yeah. Yeah. They ain't care nothing about it. And who and I'ma tell you, who even who even made me write that verse was the pimp. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, um, something happened on our set a while back when Pimp and Ken came on our set and was talking about. Oh, uh, man. Was no, don't do this. Yes, yeah, don't, don't do this. Don't do this. I know Pimp and too. Don't I know Pimp and. Um, what he mentioned, he mentioned He mentioned that Pimp C had a sex tape <laughs> of a famous R&B what? He didn't say who it was. He didn't say who it was. He didn't say. He just said that he showed him a tape. He said, "Boy, I sure wish I had that tape." Yeah. <laughs> he say, "But I don't know who. I, I can't. I ain't gonna tell you who it was. But it was a, just think of the most famous, <laughs> rap, famous R R B chick and the most famous rapper. And everybody on the internet went crazy. And I said, you know what? I did not know this was gonna go crazy like this. I ain't gonna say who it is, but it's a real famous rapper." And it's a real famous R&B chick. Okay. Yeah. Pimp had a naked. He had a recording of them. I think he died with it. But he could he could have made millions of dollars. And and some of the people that's higher up in rap, if they would have seen that tape, you know what I'm saying? Me, it you think that Kim Kardashian shit was something? Yeah, this would have blew it out the water. Man, this shit was this this. I just I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use your imagination. The biggest R&B chick in the game. I already wow. know who it is. And one of the biggest rappers. You know what I'm saying? They made the most money in the game. And they wasn't supposed to be together. Or, or they were together and nobody knew it. They still together now. Are they still together now? <laughs> wow. And niggas start lying about who it was and all kind of stuff. I just was like, man, this is crazy that they would take it there. Um, well, okay, this tape. This Do you know about the tape? I've heard about the tape. <laughs> I mean, Pimp C moved right to Texas and had a house in Mableton, man. Like, that was the first man that showed me putting your albums on VCR tapes. Is what is how you do it. At the same time, he showed me a lot of things on VCR tapes. You get it? So, no, no, he could. I'm just, my thing is this. Uh, the 90s was wild. <laughs> 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 hey, man, everybody was trying to work they move to get in, man. Uh, and that was a... That was a real fly little red boy from Texas, man. Had a mouthpiece on him, man. So, hey, man, you know, it's just like, hey, man, somebody had it before you. I mean, yeah. that's just how, that's how the game go. That's how the game go. That's how the game go. And, hey, man, like, uh, if you knew Fly Pimp back then, man, hey, man, what you mean? She was supposed to get a, get, you better get it in. <laughs> hey man, hey man, I'm soft. Them folk, yeah. them folk got them, man. So, hey man, you know, I'm just glad that that the tape would never be seen. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just, I'm just they don't glad. know where it is. Yeah, or nothing. yeah, like I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know where it is. You know it what would mean? definitely go crazy viral. Yeah, and and I, and I look at it like this. Um, one thing that we got to see this going on right now that um. A lot of shit can be used against you in this business as weapons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have to be very, very cautious of what you get yourself into in this business. You know, That's a lot of you, you, you watching a lot of things going with these people. It's like, man, these, these folk been doing all this, man. It's just when the money good and the mother folk, they pay it off. Gibby told you about R. Kelly on Lil John now. And these R&B stars having sex with the kids. Need to be chopped up and castrated and served to the pig. They ain't yeah. care. Yeah. They ain't care. Yeah. Yeah. They ain't care nothing about it. And who and I'ma tell you, who even who even made me write that verse was the pimp. Really? Really? He called the pimp to go into the studio with the pimp in Miami. The pimp said, meet me at the club. Pimp walked in there and seen the man sitting up in there with girls in the VIP with tennis shoes on. Pimp ran up out of there. Hey man. <laughs> uh, he called you. Hey man. We don't do that, man. And he we called you. Chilling, pimping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why I went in the studio and wrote that verse. And these R&B stars having sex with the kids. Need to be chopped up and castrated and served to the pig. Cause he wow. called and told me like, hey man, yeah. what wrong with Kelly? <laughs> he messing with children? 
Hey, man. What verse was it? Because I don't know. I don't hey, know the verse. Me, I want to hear. Well, it's, it's, give me, tell did, me the I verse. Did a little, I did a one. I did a, a, a probably a 24 bar verse on Lil John album. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the at the end of the verse, I said, "Keep your chilling out the street." Wow. Now, I've been said it. But at the end of the day, in this industry, anything goes as long as them folks making their money. Yeah. That's right. When them folks start making their money, then uh, here come all the trouble. Like, what are they going to do? They're going to throw the trouble on you and write you on now. They ain't got owe, now I don't owe you nothing. They ain't, the, ain't the law got you. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.